Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen, where I guide you through creating a little piece of art one step at a time. Today we are creating something called a Zen Dangle, similar to Zen Tangle, but a little bit different. I'm using a Micron PN plastic nib pen, and I just grabbed three markers out of my cabinet. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencil, or you can simply do this in black and white. I'm also using a small two inch by two inch Zentangle brand tile called the Bijou Tile. All right, I'm gonna start with my Micron pen. And to make a Zentangle, this can be on any size paper. I'm just doing it small today. Um, to make a Zendangle, the first thing we do is we need to make these rods that go across our paper that things can hang from. A rod can be straight, it can be a curve, it can be whatever you want. So I'm going to start with, I'll start with a straight line, and I'm not even going to go all the way. I'm going to leave it right about there. And then I'm going to do a curve line. like that. I'm making this up as I go and every time I make one it looks completely different. Basically you just need something that you can draw down from. Okay so I'm going to start by on the end of this rod I'm going to put almost like a curtain end, a finial. So I want to put something to end this. So I'm going to do a little circle, a large circle, and another little circle. And where this comes around, I'm just gonna finish this one off by putting a dark circle in there. Okay. Now we need to add some strings and our strings, we're really trying not to space them perfectly apart. We don't want them all to be the same length. So I start with making all of my strings and then I go back and decorate them. So over here I'll make my first one. I'm just going to make a straight line down. I'm going to do another one towards the middle and maybe not down quite as far. And over here I'll do one that's long again. All right, now I'm going to add a couple of curvy lines. So I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to do a curve right there. And maybe a curve right here. And maybe a little bit smaller waves right there. And now I'm going to add a zigzag line or two. Let's see. I'm going to put one right here. I'll make that one kind of short. And after I make a couple of straight lines, a couple of wiggly lines, and a couple of the zigzags, now I just kind of step back and see if I want to add anything else. So this is pretty open right here. So I think I will aura this line for a little ways. And then I think I'm gonna stop right there for right now. I can always fill it in more later. Okay, so now, bring it to my camera. So now one of my favorite parts is adding the little charms or dangles. So I typically start with hearts just because it's like the easiest thing for me to make. So I'm going to put a little heart right here. And then I'm going to do a heart maybe on this one. And this time when I make a heart, I'm just going to make it a little bit fancier by putting a loop at the bottom.
just to change things up. All right, now I'm gonna pick another line. So maybe I'll do the straight one in the middle. Then I'm gonna do a circle, a diamond, and a circle. These can literally be whatever you want them to be. Okay, on this curve one, I'm gonna end my short curve by putting in a little spiral. And that can go on the end of a straight line or a zigzag. But I just thought it might fit nice there. At the bottom of this zigzag right here, let me think. I think I'm going to do a circle, an oval, and a circle. And this wavy line, I think I kind of want it to look like a vine, so I'm actually going to put some teeny tiny leaf shapes all the way down it. And then I'm going to end it in a leaf shape. All right, I have a couple more. So on this one right here, I'm going to end in a teardrop with a little accent in it. And this one over here, I don't have a lot of room to draw, so I'm just going to put a large dot, medium dot, and then get a little bit smaller. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect some of these lines horizontal. So over here, I'm just gonna put a little bridge right in there. I'm gonna put a bridge over here. And it can be a single line, a double line. Do another one over here, and this one I'll put a curve on the bottom. And you can make as few or as many of those as you'd like. And then you can go back and if you want to add some detailing to those, you can. And put some little lines in that one. Maybe some dots in there. I think I'm going to fill this one with some orbs. Just have fun with it. Okay, now I'm going to go and on some of these straight lines, there's not much to them. So there's a couple different ways to add accents. So one of them I like to do is to put these little, I call them like bee wings. Put a couple little wings on there. Just like that. I'm going to do it over here on this curve. And another fun thing you can do is just add some dots going down the line. Just like that. And down this straight line, I'm just going to add some dots to the side. Now on any of those little bridges, you can put something going up off the top of it, or you can do another dangle coming down. So I'm gonna do one here with a colored in heart. If I want, I can put those little bee wings on there. 
endless possibilities. Okay, now I'm gonna go back up to the top and I usually put a flower on mine. So it's fun to have little toppers that stick up. So I'm just gonna put a basic flower shape here. Color in that middle. And for the leaves, there's a million options, but I'm gonna do a curve just because I've got some curves other places. In this open space here, you can do some things hanging down or some things popping up. So I think I'm gonna put a little sun inside there. You don't have to do this. Put whatever you want. I just think that looks kind of cool. And then I feel like I need something over here. So I think I'm going to go in this corner here and put a little fescue. And maybe another fescue. And maybe a little dot up here. could also add a couple little bumpy shapes on there if I want to. And maybe a couple of polka dots around that. At this open area over here so maybe I I keep saying the word maybe I apologize I'm going to add some little curves just to fill that in I'm gonna add an accent to this shape and one more tiny flower in here just because I've got the room Okay, that is a Zen dangle. You start with your horizontal lines or rods. You add your strings coming down. Add some little dangles or charms. Put some things coming off the top. Put in some bridges or connectors. And then just add enhancements, tiny leaves, polka dots, thick dots, whatever you want to do. Such a fun thing to do on cards, on envelopes or just when you're doodling. Now I just picked three colors of marker. I don't usually color in my Zentangles, but these dangles look super cute with just a little bit of color. So go ahead and color some things in. You could even trace a line or two to give it some color. After I add a little bit of color, I pick a different color. Color in a few things with the next one. Tracing if you want. And then I go to my third color. And just pick a few areas that don't have much color yet. I'm gonna stop right there. And as always, we initial our work. Add a date on the back and write a little journal entry about something that's going on in your life right now. Again, this is called a Zendangle. 
I will link below the books that I used as inspiration in case you would like to purchase them on Amazon. Thank you so much for following along and have fun.